age is a good thing. And having good memory with age, because I'm an elder, I'm an elder now. You remember things and you can speak on things. I can speak on things. Shout outs to all the people over 35. I know the kids today, they call us old heads. But it is good when you age well. When you have your sanity. When you can remember things. And life isn't hard as you get older, but you should make it easy as you get older. With or without the money. And what I'm talking about is Tasha K. And... Will Smith's friend slash assistant, the Smith's friend slash assistant. He has come out. He's out. He's talking. Wednesday night is the exclusive with her and the Smith's friend and assistant. Now, why do I talk about age? Why did I bring up age? Because I remember a lot about Will Smith and Jada Pinkett. I remember putting Jada on my wall. I remember when back then when I was a teenager, it was four or five was considered uh, black or colored actresses or celebrity that they were pushing. You know, they pushed like three or four of them. It was Jada. Layla or Leela Rashawn. She had that nice shape with them cheekbones. Then you had Holly Berry. Then you had Vivica Fox. Okay. So it was Vivica Fox, Layla, Layla or Leela, Holly Berry, Jada Pinkett Smith. Okay. And Nia Long. Nia Long, those were the five, like, main black females they was pushing back then. And I had all of them on my wall. Real talk, like, yeah, Word Up Magazine, Right On Magazine, we knew they had the, the, the pictures. We knew they was going to have pictures in those magazines. And I used to paste it on my wall. I used to have them on my wall, for real, for real. So... Those were the women. And out of that pack, out of that pack, Jada ended up with Will Smith, who Will Smith was like, besides Denzel, besides Denzel Washington, Will Smith was at his peak. Will Smith was the man. I'm talking after Independence Day, Will Smith was on top of the world. I don't think anything he did after that can compare to the hype and prestige of where he was when he did after Independence Day, uh, that, that whole run right there. And he was with Jada. And we didn't know at the time, We a lot of us weren't privy to her relationship with Tupac at the time. We know he came and he did the um, appearance on A Different World. But that was it. I I didn't know that they was cool or tight like that. But what we do know is Jada and Will was together. And even though Jada and Will was together, Will always stood out. No matter, even though she's the female, she's supposed to be the the eye candy in the relationship, it he still stood out. His career overshadowed the relationship. So we always knew that without Will, where would be Jada? It's like we see how the other, we see where Nia Long went, her, her career, and we see where Vivica went, we see where... Vivica damn near went crazy, talking about Juicy Smollett was telling, even now she's saying he's telling the truth. She crazy. 
And we see where Le Leila Rashad, or Layla Rashad, she done put on a lot of weight now. She got comfortable and let it go. And she, we haven't seen her too much in any movies. You know what I mean? After that, it's like she just settled down and whatever is considered, whatever body type is considered for Hollywood, it didn't fit her after a while. And then we see where um, we see Nia Long, Vivica, Layla, and Jada, and we see where Holly Berry career went. Now, of course, she's half black, half white, so they're going to push her. They're going to push her the most. You know how it is. When they mix, they push them the most. So she didn't crash and burn. She just had terrible situations with her relationships, Halle Berry. You know what I'm saying? Um, and that, that to me, that to me, I don't get. But maybe those men know something we don't know. You know, maybe something going on that we do not know. You know what I mean? Vivica... 50, fell in love with 50 cents. And he got rid of her. And she had never been the same. She can't find love. Um, Nia, uh, Nia Long got cheated on so many times. Took him back. Che he been cheating on her. She It's just now it all came out. Recently it all came out. But he been cheating. We know about those uh, situations over the years. So her, she ain't doing too well either with relationships. Uh, Layla Rashad, I don't know. I think she's a family woman. I don't know what's going on. But <sighs> Halle Berry, forget about it. Same thing. Same thing going on. And now Jada, look what's going on with her relationship. I mean... It ain't been good on that side of the fence. But over the years, people, assistants, people have been coming out. Personal assistants, the maid, you know, the housekeeper. I told you guys this, and I'm going to tell y'all again. I remember, I don't know if it was Power 1051, I don't remember if it was Hot 9-7. But I remember Will Smith calling in the radio station to save face. Remember, he was at his peak. This is Will Smith we talking about. And the housekeeper or the publicist chick came out. I guess she wanted some money. And she was saying how Jada bullies Will. Jada do what she want to do, right? Will is not manly in the relationship. And she dropped the bombshell when she said Mark Anthony and them doing the three-way thing. They doing the triangle thing. And to save face, at the time, it was true and at the time, it was public, so he felt to address it publicly to save face. Because Jada at the time was doing all type of things, and the man lost it. He lost his mind. This, when, when, he, when he walked on that stage, and he hit the heck out of Chris... He had lost, listen, you lose your mind, you lose yourself, you lose control. And that's not the first time she done got him there. When it came to this Mark Anthony thing, he actually called the radio station and dissed her and said he's upset and mad at her. And he walked in, this is what he said out of his mouth, he walked in and he saw Mark Anthony you know, doggy style, his woman. But we didn't know that they got down like that and there was rules. Like if you're going to continue 
after we do the triangle thing, if you're going to continue, you got to let me know. And she didn't let him know she was selfish and Mark Anthony was over there getting it in. Getting it in. Now, at the time, he's supposed to be with the J-Lo woman, right? He's supposed to be with her. But no, he's over the Smith's house doing all type of plumbing on that woman. All type of acrobatic moves on that woman. And you wouldn't think, look how Mark Anthony looked old and shriveled up. Okay? But he must have been performing like a young buck. You know, like one of the studs on the plantation. He must have been performing like that because he was giving it to her to the point where Will lost it and said, that's not what's happening. It's all Jada's her. It's not me. I walked in and I seen her with Mark Anthony, yada, yada, yada. Real talk. Real talk. Okay? And that's what I remember. But I was young and not used to that type of... Back then, first of all, if you go back, those type of behaviors were, were kind of hidden. Because for one, you couldn't even say the B word on the radio back then. You couldn't even curse on the radio or on TV back then. Like public national TV and radio. So it was kind of squeaky clean. So when I'm hearing about... Man and man, woman, one doggy style and this way. And yeah, we do that, but there's rules and that. that, that. I'm like, what the hell? It just flew over my head. Because remember, back then, even getting some top, that was special treatment. Now, that's automatic. Before, first of all, even putting it in the second Second hole, that was an issue back then. You slip, make a mistake, and you poking it in the wrong hole, she going to be like, whoa, that's the wrong hole. Now you poke it down there, it's okay. So there's a lot of things, a lot of things that was going on in society, in the culture, that was we wasn't really on it. We heard of it. We heard the Puerto Ricans. Yeah, they them Puerto Rican dudes would, would definitely go down and da da da. But now it's nothing to y'all, cause now y'all y'all doing everything. But back then it was like, oh my. It was like, word, that's how they doing it. And it flew over my head. But now that's nothing. So you have a relationship that was built on all type of deviances, negative deviances in the bedroom. Because if once you go that route, all that's normal goes out the window. All that's new to you, if it's introduced to you, goes out the window. Nothing is new under the sun in that type of relationship. So what do you have to hold on to is power. It's your power in the relationship that keeps it going. That's what drives you to stay, knowing that you can dominate the other spouse. You can dominate and they tolerate. You dictate, they tolerate. And that turns you on. How crazy is that? Well, that's what's been going on with them. How does Sean and HD know this? How does Sean and HD know this, man? See? I keep telling y'all I'm the fly on the wall. Let me let me break it down to y'all. Let me break it down to y'all. <clears throat> I'm a, I want to tell the people that's listening. This is why I do what I do. This is why I keep telling the youth, as long as you try, every day you get up and try, eventually you're going to get where you got to go. You might think I'm in the hood. Who these people, they big celebrities, big time. No, they still human. And real, recognize real. So let me tell you how Sean and HD know a lot about 
the situation in that home. Shout out to my dude, Glenn. Young boy. He probably like 28 now. Maybe 27. Glenn, Glenn, Glenn. Young boy probably was like 19 years old, 20 at the time. Dropped a song when 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 um Tumblr was viral. Valid like salad. He had a song called Valid Like Salad. I don't know if a lot of y'all know this song. But that kid ended up doing music and transitioned into, into fashion. Where he's designing and he's styling and creating. Okay? And that that led him to the Smith's house, to Jaden Smith's house. Okay? Jaden Smith met Glenn. Glenn ended up having a friendship with Jaden Schmidt. Glenn is from the Bronx. Okay, he's from uptown. Uptown in the Bronx. Okay? And he was like a regular kid riding the train. Just came back fresh from the, the, the Smith's house. I was like, oh, yo, I seen the video the Jaden kid put up. Dude, you was in there. Y'all was swinging and jumping in the pool and all that. That was what the video was. And I see my man there. And I'm like, yo, who that girl you with, though? Because it was a Willow Smith, Jaden Smith. And I believe I seen a girl in the background for a little. I know who that girl is. He was like, oh, oh that's my girlfriend, Justine. Y'all know her as Justine Sky. Okay? Now, I never really tell this story. You know what I'm saying? Because it's kind of messed up, you know, what happened, what they did to my boy. And he's a young man, and he's doing his thing. And he went out there. He met the Smiths first. He met Jaden. Then he met the girl, the Willow girl. And he over there, and he's so talented and creative, they kidnapped the boy. They didn't want him to leave to come back to New York. While he's there, he come back, he brings the girl out there. The girl, she was chubby at the time. That girl, Justine Sky, was a chubby girl that was that was singing on Tumblr too, but he blew her up. He took her out there. The moms went out there. Her moms went out there. Glenn is the one how she got on. Glenn made the connections with them people and Whoever he met, he he brought her around, and that's how they met her and know her. Okay? So, y'all got to be careful when you're in a relationship and it's never been tested. Don't bring your woman or your man in certain waters if you've never been tested outside of that first. Because you don't know what's going to happen when you bring them around certain situations. You see what happened to him. You, she don't even mention, homie. But if it wasn't for him, it wouldn't have got on the way it got on with her. Let's keep it real. Glenn went out there and Glenn came back. He told me some things. And I'm not going to say what the man said, what the young boy said. Just know that it's all confirmed. Just know that the boy want to be the girl at one time and the girl want to be a boy at one time. And the mommy and the daddy sanction it and says, yes, it can go down that way. Okay? Yeah, it can go down that way. That's the type of household it was. Okay? So, all this that's going on now with homie coming out and he's trying to tell these secrets and things, all he going to do is confirm what we already know. To me, it's not an exclusive. She shouldn't have called it an exclusive. No. No. It should just be an interview because ain't nothing going to be exclusive other than more details because this dude was actually in there just like my boy Glenn. And if you look at homie, he looked like a regular dude. Like, why would Will Smith and Jada want to be friends with him? <laughs> so 
When I'm telling you about my young boy I knew, it don't sound so far-fetched now, does it? When y'all go Wednesday to Tasha K's uh, page and y'all see homie, he's a plain-looking dude. Like, who is this guy? How you know Will and them? Yo, people are people. Even everybody listening right now, you don't know. You never know. These are human beings at the end of the day. Now, he coming out saying he called him with the other one. He called him with Dwayne. Dwayne Martin. Now, I don't know about that. That's what he said. Okay, he caught him with the above the rim dude. You know what I mean? But I know only one thing I know for sure, a hundred percent. Let's use our common sense. Pac was big in 89, 90, 91, 92. Pac was Pac. Pac did what he wanted to do, say what he wanted to say, live the life he wanted to live. Now, if him and Jada were so close. And they had this thing with each other, like she trying to put out there. Then why Pac ain't marry her? He could have married any woman he wanted to. Why he ain't marry her? Why to Pac Shakur? Mr. Machiavelli. Okay? Why? Out of all the women in the world, if him and Jada was like peas and rice, hmm? if him and Jada was white on rice, that close, that together, then why he never married her? Why he never wifed her? Because Pac knew Shorty was nuts. Tupac ain't dumb. Pac ain't stupid. Pac knew I can't wife her. Yeah, we cool as friends. Now, everybody got that man or woman in their life. As friends, y'all gel well. But you know if you get with that person, it's going to be straight, straight up nuts. Don't even, you don't even want to take it there. Y'all got to think about that. If, if, if it was all that smoochy smoochy like she's saying, then why Pac married a regular chick? Hmm? Why he married this regular degular? Nobody even know her name. Nobody even know how she look or remember how she look. That's how regular she is. But you telling me something spicy and saucy, something glamorous as a Jada at the time, Pac can't wife that? Come on, y'all playing with the boy. Y'all got to think about that. He knew Tupac had better sense than Will Smith. Tupac Shakur had... More common sense, knew better, knew, uh-uh-uh, that ain't no wifey type. Mm -mm -mm. I hear, I hear certain things she be saying, and I don't know. I don't know. Some of the philosophy, uh, some of her concepts, Pac was like, nah. So, y'all could go over to Unwind with Tasha K. You can even put in the comments, short in HD sent you. On Wednesday, she's going to talk to homie, the friend slash assistant. You know what I mean? And he about to tell all. So, y'all can run over there Wednesday. Sean in HD is right here where he's supposed to be. In HD, right here. Right here. So, take it how you're going to take it. But for me, it's old news. <laughs> for me, it's old news. It's old news. You know what I mean? So, yeah. You know you know what we do. We can't stop. We won't stop. You're not rocking with the best. 
Sean and HD TV.